If you guys are in need of some coins to get that player or team you've always wanted, make sure to check out Mutt Store and use code TD for 10% off. Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome to a rebuild on Madden 19. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I don't know if there's any of you OG subs left, but some of you guys might actually remember. Some of the first videos I did on YouTube were actually in NCAA Dynasty and NBA Association. And I actually did a Madden rebuild way back in like 2014. I actually still do a lot of franchise stuff offline and some of you guys actually have been asking me to do this so I figured I'd give it a try. The first team we're gonna do is the Cleveland Browns. Now they just fired their head coach. They're coming off an 0-16 season but this team actually has a decent amount of talent. Definitely gonna have to use a custom coach instead. No way we're using Hugh Jackson. We're just gonna leave it like this. Juan Blanco is going to be the head coach of the Browns. Also, I will tell you guys, we're going to be taking an extremely aggressive approach to this. I'm trying to win a Super Bowl within like three to four seasons. We're going to try and be like the Rams. We're going all in. We're going to trade our draft picks. We're going to go after big name free agents. And we're going to try and win a Super Bowl like as soon as possible. Let's take a look at the roster. So we got Mayfield at quarterback. Obviously, he's going to be a stud. We're going to keep him. We got Tyrod Taylor, 79 overall. Might actually be able to trade him. At running back, they just traded Carlos Hyde in real life. We got Duke Johnson Jr. We got Nick Chubb. I actually like both of these guys. Don't think we're going to get rid of either of them. At the wide receiver position, they just signed Landry. We got Callaway. We got Higgins, Perriman. I would like to get Mayfield some more weapons. Maybe even another veteran receiver. I think our tight ends are good. Now, the offensive line for the Browns. Left tackle, we got a rookie, Desmond Harrison. We also have Greg Robinson behind him. Wasn't he supposed to be like a stud coming out of college? I want to say he might have been a first round pick. Just never really panned out. So we do need a left tackle. Left guard, we got Petonio. We're set there. Uh, we got Treader at center. Not too bad. At right guard, we got Kevin Zietler, one of the best in the business. Yeah, tackle is definitely a weak spot. We need to address that because we need to keep Mayfield upright. Now, our defensive ends are actually pretty good. We got Miles Garrett, currently a 90 overall. Now, with the way progression works, this guy should be in like the mid to high 90s before we know it. D-line's actually pretty good. I would like to bring in another like pure pass rusher to put opposite of Miles Garrett. I feel like we get a lot of sacks, force a lot of turnovers. Uh, at left outside linebacker, we got Jamie Collins. This guy is somebody I'm going to be looking to trade. As a Patriots fan, I used to love Jamie Collins. Once he got traded to the Browns and signed that huge contract, it seems like whenever I go on Twitter and see highlights of this guy, it's just like him not even trying. And plus, right behind him, we got Avery, who's on his rookie contract, who's actually a pretty good player. We're probably going to be running a 4-3. Would like to pick up another middle linebacker just for like a depth perspective. Uh, we got Christian Kirksey. I'm a fan of him. I like him. And then let's take a look at the secondary. So we got Denzel Ward. This guy is an absolute stud. Definitely want to pick up some other cornerbacks for sure. Might even bring in a veteran guy. Uh, we got Demarius Randall at free safety. And then we got Peppers at strong safety. And then we can't forget about the special teams. Greg Joseph actually has a leg. He's got 92 kick power. And then uh, we got Colquitt, who is a pretty good, pretty reliable punter. We are going to change our schemes. Right now, our offense is a multiple power run. I want to, we want to spread things out. We could go with the spread. I'm kind of, what is this? Vertical zone run. I don't want to do that, man. I want to get the ball in Mayfield's hands. I want him to get outside the pocket. I want him throwing the ball. So we are going to go with the spread. And then on defense, we got a multiple 4-3. Uh, let's just... I say we just go with the base 4-3. Why not? Now, before we even start the season, I am going to try to unload Jamie Collins and that salary. It's actually pretty hard to trade in Madden, so I don't know if this is going to go well. The Chargers actually got a pretty good secondary. I got to say, the Chiefs, we don't want anybody from them. Colts, they don't even have anybody we want. Uh, Cowboys, no. Dolphins. Xavier Howard, plus he fits our scheme. I really like him. He's 25 years old. His salary, obviously, a lot less than Jamie Collins. Are they even interested in Collins? So they are interested in him for whatever reason. Maybe they just want a former Patriots player on their team again. Let's actually see how interested they are in this. And oh, they accepted it. Did not see that coming. So they said Howard doesn't fit their scheme. We'll gladly take him because he fits ours. I actually like that trade a lot. Not only do we unload salary, we get even younger. We pick up Avery, who's a rookie, and then we pick up Xavier Howard who's only 25 he's gonna be starting across from Denzel Ward like I said I am gonna approach this pretty fast so we're not done with trades for the season just yet but we're actually gonna go ahead we are gonna simulate until week seven right before the trade deadline after six weeks we are actually five and one we're at the top of the division fourth in the NFL we're actually close on a deal here so I'm trying to get Emmanuel Sanders from the Broncos Keenum is actually hurt. I meant to turn injuries off, but I forgot. They don't actually have a quarterback right now, so I offered them Tyrod Taylor. They were kind of interested. I offered them our 2020 first round pick, which right now it's valued at one. 
but hopefully it won't actually be that good. So a third round in this year's draft actually get the job done. So we just landed Emmanuel Sanders, kind of a hefty price tag. We'll take it, man. Emmanuel Sanders, like I said at the beginning, kind of wanted the veteran wide receiver. And he's actually 89 overall, which is ahead of Landry. Now it's time to see what happens. Usually we fall off. We're going to sim to the end of the season. We are 5-1, fourth in the NFL, in first place in the division. Let's see where we're going to end up. I wish it actually showed you, like, your schedule and, like, what the results of all the games are. Instead, we just have to look at the screen right here. We end up finishing the season 12-4. and four. So we beat the Chargers. We beat the Buccaneers. We crushed the Steelers. Somehow we crushed the Chiefs as well. Then we just got absolutely destroyed by the Falcons. And then I know it says force win, but that was for the bye week. So that, I don't know why it says that. Uh, we beat the Bengals pretty handily. We lost to the Texans. Destroyed the Panthers. We lost to the Broncos, which is kind of weird. Did Tyra Taylor beat us? I hope not. That'd be embarrassing. Uh, once again, beat the Bengals. And then we beat the Ravens by seven points to end the season. That's crazy. Look at our roster. Everyone is just progressing like crazy. So, Batonio's up to a 91. Uh, Zietler's up to a 91. Mayfield is all the way up to a 91 as well. That is crazy. Landry is up to a 90. And then over on defense, what do we got? Miles Garrett. He's a 98. Let's take a look at the stats. Mayfield had almost 5,000 passing yards, 41 touchdowns. Rushing, we got Duke Johnson. He was 3.4 yards a carry, just under 1,000 yards. Had 11 rushing touchdowns. Nick Chubb right behind him. I wanted them to split carries. Looks like Duke Johnson kind of got more. Landry had over 1,000 yards. Sanders over 1,000 yards. Higgins had over 1,000 yards. I don't know how we did this. I'm not complaining. Miles Garrett. 19 and a half sacks. I just simmed a wild card round. We had a first round by, believe it or not, the Cleveland Browns. The Steelers beat Jacksonville, so I want to say we're playing them. Uh, the Eagles lost to the Rams. The Dolphins won. Maybe we play them instead. And then the Saints beat the Falcons. So some pretty good games. We're actually going to find out right here. So we do play the Steelers. We get the Saints at the Packers, Dolphins at the Chargers, and Rams at the Cowboys. That means the Patriots or Chiefs didn't make the playoffs. There's probably some other teams I can't even think of either. Like I said, the simulation of Madden is just extremely weird. So who knows what happened? Plus, I forgot to shut off injuries. So maybe there's some crazy injuries. I don't know. Now, I'm actually not going to play this game. I figured we would just go ahead and jump into the Super Sim so we can kind of see what happens. Now, I have it at six minute quarters. I was messing around with it a lot, doing a bunch of simulations. That kind of seemed to be like the money spot. So we did start with the ball. We're going with two straight rushes and it looks like, okay, so they forced a three and out. That's not a good thing. I don't know how I feel about us, you know, running the ball with Duke Johnson. And now the Steelers are driving down the field with these. There's no, we can't lose our first playoff game, especially after going 12 and four. We did hold them to a field goal. All right, I like it. Getting Landry involved. Just got to keep things going. Come on, Mayfield. Carry the team to victory. Just got a big first down. Nick Chubb's in the game. Going to punch it in. Come on. Did we get the first down? Uh-oh. So we had first and goal. We just got a penalty. And we scored a touchdown. Okay, I don't know who scored it. Seemed to skip it. So we do got the lead in the second quarter. But once again, the Steelers are just driving with ease. Look at this man. Third and one. This is a huge play. Juju dropped it. So they are going to take a field goal. We still got a one-point lead. The thing that kind of sucks about watching this is I feel helpless. Like, there's nothing I can do. I wish I had, like, more control over what plays are being called. But it looks like... Dude, we're doing our thing. Mayfield is in the zone, just picking up first down after first down. That's what I like to see. Duke Johnson in the receiving game and the rushing game. Mayfield just threw for a touchdown. That puts us up 14 to 6. I feel like this is way too good to be true. Like, I, I feel like the collapse is going to come. At some point, they just had a huge play. Uh-oh, AB's really getting things going. Got to keep them out the end zone. They're at the 7, and Le'Veon Bell just caught a touchdown pass. And they're going to go for one. A little surprising for the Steelers. We're up by one in the third quarter. They did get the ball, and Roethlisberger is just dotting our defense up. Come on, boys. It looks like they are in field goal range. We need to get a stop. Come on, right here. They just got another first. Denzel Ward, I just see him in the feed, play after play. All right, we did get a stop. They took another field goal. They're up by two. Mayfield, you need to lead them. Come on. You got this. That Uh-oh, that's a penalty. That's not good. Second and 17, we just ran it with Duke Johnson. Come on, what are you guys doing? Third and 13, we got it. Emmanuel Sanders, that's why we traded for him. This has turned into a game of field goals. We're now up by one, 17 to 16. And now, oh my goodness, Big Ben's going ham. We can't stop this, man. Le'Veon Bell, six yard rush. All they need is a field goal to take the lead. Though, I feel like they're gonna get a touchdown. First and goal, Bell's down to the one. 
Come on, boys. Wow, Bell rushed it in. We're down by five. Extra point. No, they went for two. Down by seven. Mayfield needs to lead the team right here. Under four minutes left. Ooh, we got some really big plays. All right. 14-yard reception. Come on, keep it going. Higgins, he's been huge for us this year. 23-yard reception, okay. Duke Johnson, Cameron Hayward got hurt. I feel like that's a big injury. Ryan Chazier got an interception. Kind of forgot he was playing in this thing. That might just end our season. They just got a huge first down on third and six. Antonio Brown picked it up. Under two minutes left in the game. And Bell just scored a touchdown. We're going to lose in the first round. Well, not the first round, but the divisional round. Mayfield is driving. Maybe got something here. We are going to score a touchdown. So with 25 seconds, we need... We didn't get the onside kick. I'm a little hurt. But at the same time, I feel like we did. Like, that's probably one of the best simulations I've ever had. So Mayfield, 31 to 43, had three touchdowns. Uh, looks like we were hitting the tight ends a lot. 11 receptions, 117 yards and touchdown. Emmanuel Sanders came in clutch. Landry... Only had one catch for eight yards. Looks like we only had two sacks, which playing Big Ben, I'd like to get more. Uh, Miles Garrett, looks like he was a little quiet. We had zero interceptions. They fed Le'Veon Bell. Like he had 29 carries, 157 yards, two touchdowns. Now we got some guys we need to renegotiate. Uh, Greg Joseph, he missed a huge field goal for us in that game. So I don't know how I'm feeling. He only went up one overall. We need to bring back Higgins. He had a huge year for us. He's only 24 years old. So let's actually offer him three years. We'll go 3.4 million. And I want to say last time he wanted more of a bonus. So we will offer him 1.75 mil. We get a lot of cap space. So I'm okay with this. Even though he's only a 75, he seems to ball out for us. So we need to keep him on the team. I remember saying we need to bring back EJ Gaines because he actually ended up leading us in interceptions. We'll do 3.2 mil. So it gives him a little over 14 mil. And it looks like he's going to stay. All right, we'll take it. This is where things get exciting. So we're about to head into free agency. I'm a little scared because sometimes teams seem to re-sign everybody and there's nobody there. We got 40 million cap space. Come on. Be some big names there. Clowney's available. Demarcus Lawrence, who we tried trading for. And yeah, those are the two big names. I say we go all in on Clowney. Why not? I'm trying to keep this a little bit realistic. So Aaron Donald, he's got six years, 135 million. And Khalil Mack got six years, 141 million. I say we give Clowney something in that area. We're gonna go just over Aaron Donald, right under Khalil Mack. So six years, 135 million for Clowney. That is about, actually, yeah, that's not even half our cap space. So we'll do this. We're gonna offer it to him. It's 122 points, which is good. We're tied with the Dolphins and the Redskins. That actually puts us at third. Clowney, you're about to be the highest paid player in like NFL history. Six years, 19 million a year, plus the signing bonus, $150 million. 133 points. Okay, that puts us over the top. We're currently first on his list. Nobody wants the Prince on their team. I know he's 30 years old, but shoot, we'll take him. We'll take a vet. Uh, we'll actually offer him two years. Maybe he'll want that. He wants, you know, the stability in his older age. We're going to offer him four mil a year. Puts us at about 21 in cap space, 108 points. I feel like we should be able to get him. That's all we're going to do for week number one. So we're going to advance this to week two. We're about to find out if we get, hopefully, Clowney. Come on. I feel like that's going to change everything. Him and Miles Garrett in the same team. That'd be absolutely insane. Did we get him? We got both of them. We just got Clowney and Amukamura. After week one, this is what our new team is looking like. We got Clowney, made him a left end. He's actually so good. He went up in overall. Actually, maybe he was 95. This is what the defense is looking like. Okay, I don't want to go that far. I uh, just got Amukamura. So we got five pretty good corners. We need to pick up a kicker. Uh, the Steelers are in on Jake Elliott. So you guys can have him. Let's actually go for this guy right here. Actually offer him two years, 2.5 mil. Should be enough to get the deal done. 107 points. It's pretty good. Nobody else has offered him. I say we go after Thomas Davis. He's up there in age. He's 36. But he's not going to start for us. But I still want him, you know, somebody in the locker room. Somebody as a backup. And it seems like that's a decent deal. So we'll see what he says. We need a big guy as well. We're going to go after Haloti Nada. We'll offer him 3 mil. Bump that signing bonus down. This should be enough to get him. No other team's offered him as well. So right now, I'm just trying to pick up vets to kind of fill out the roster and kind of help out these young guys. I feel like we're good on free agents. We are going to simulate to the draft. Now, this is probably where I'm going to get pretty aggressive because I feel like this team's good. I'm so bad when it comes to drafting. I don't even know what I'm looking for. So, like, I see this guy is the top-rated prospect when it comes to left tackles. He's a second-round talent. 
that we would be taking in the first round. He's a late second rounder. Not, he's only 74 overall. Okay, that was not a good pick. I'm kind of feeling this guy right here. We do need a left outside linebacker. Well, a backup. He looks, oh wow, he looks really good. Super athletic. We're gonna draft him. And he's a 76 overall. There we go. We finally got a good pick. We're about to head into season number two. We're in 86 overall, 89 on both offense and defense. Mayfield's a 91, Duke Johnson 84, Chubbs a 79, Landry up to a 90. Sanders did drop, which is probably gonna continue to happen. Interior offensive line looking amazing. We need tackles. I know we drafted some. We need better ones. Uh, over on defense, this is what I'm excited about. Uh, Thomas Davis is actually going to start. He's going to kind of split snaps with Avery. Our safeties are looking good. 84 overall. I kind of want to pick up maybe another stud corner. I don't know. We might not even need it because Miles Garrett and Clowney should get so much pressure that it just makes our secondary perform even better. I feel like now is a good time to make a trade because it is our bye week. We're currently in week number six. So I feel like that does kind of make sense. Plus, we can make another move at the deadline. Our schedule is kind of hard coming up. So we beat the Bengals, we lost to the Rams, we crushed Jacksonville. We're on to something here. So Mitchell is actually our sixth cornerback. He's literally not even playing. Damar Dotson, 84 overall. Also throw in, how about our third round pick in 2020? That is, that was enough. Okay, so we just got a right tackle. It actually is time for the deadline. I don't think I'm gonna make any moves. There's really not a lot of players in the trade block and there's really not too many guys I'm trying to get rid of. We're currently in first place, five and one again. And we just beat the Ravens 49 to 20. We're gonna keep rolling with the squad. We're taking on the five and one Patriots. We're just gonna send to the playoffs. And let's see what we can do, man. I feel like I feel like this might be the year, which is crazy. I've never won a Super Bowl when doing one of these. Okay, we went 13 and three, so we definitely have a first round bye. Mayfield had 4,400 yards, 28 touchdowns, nine interceptions. So he actually Seems like it took a step back stat-wise. I would like maybe a little bit more production out of our running backs. Also, why isn't Mayfield running more? Receiving end, Emmanuel Sanders, 12 touchdowns. Higgins had two, Duke Johnson had zero. I, I guess it is what it is. Landry had seven. Now I'm excited to see the defense because it looks like our offense wasn't the greatest. Peppers had four interceptions, Ward had three, Randall had three, Amukamore had two, Howard had two, Gaines had two, and then uh, the linebackers all had one each. Let's take a look at sacks. What do we got? Garrett had 20. That is insane. He probably led the league. Clowney had 14. Our defense is looking good. Mariota won MVP. Okay then, he got it over Watson. Titans are 11 and five. Le'Veon Bell got Offensive Player of the Year. He's a 99 overall. That's gonna be fun to deal with. There it is, Miles Garrett. He's a 99. He got first in defense. And look who's fourth. Look who's fifth. Look who's seventh. We had four players in the top 10 when it came to defense. Miles Garrett, Defensive Player of the Year. That is crazy. There's our opponent. We're taking on Mr. MVP Mariota in the 11 and five Titans. Already driving down the field. We just gotta, gotta keep adding pressure. Duke Johnson, I wanna see Nick Chubb involved. They just got a big penalty. Looks like it was on Malcolm Butler. Got second and goal from the nine. Mayfield's gonna throw it away. Come on, we need a touchdown right here. And we got sacked. Okay, so we got, uh, First points on the board, we're going up three nothing. Looks like the MVP's off to a hot start. Just had, wow, three big plays. All the sharp. And we cannot let this happen. Third and goal, Mariota just threw a touchdown and we're losing. They just scored again. Start lighting them up. That That's not, okay, there it is, Callaway. Let's go, gotta keep attacking. If I'm out there, I'm calling no huddle. I feel like we should be able to run the ball. I wanna see Chubb in there. Higgins is gonna get a touchdown. So we're gonna tie this thing up with 20 seconds left in the second quarter. We gotta force turnovers in the second half, man. I haven't seen a sack yet. We need to see Clowney and Miles Garrett. That is, okay, we forced the punt. There it is. We forced the three and out to start the half. How'd they score? Because we just had the ball. Mayfield to Landry. I wanna see more Landry. Third and one. There we go. Duke Johnson, big run down to the three. And we're gonna score a touchdown, so we're tied. There it is, Clowney's gonna get the sack. We haven't seen that yet. Right here, man, this is the drive. We gotta drive down the field, take some time off the clock, win this game on this drive right here. Don't even let them touch the ball again. We just had a huge play. Now they're getting penalties, they're tired. Gotta keep attacking, we score the touchdown. We're up by seven. There we go, there it is, we got the sack. Finally, our pressure's starting to get there. Three minutes left. We're about to close this game out, man. I can feel it, right here. Already almost in field goal range, I think. Uh-oh, Chubb just went backwards. That's not good. They're calling timeouts. Are we in field goal range? 
42? Oh, we went for it! How about that call? Game over. We end up winning. I didn't realize they were out of timeouts. So we win this 24 to seven, take down the MVP. We take out the Titans, then we got Seahawks versus the Rams, Patriots versus Jags, who we're gonna be playing the winner of. I don't know if you guys remember, we played Jacksonville in like week four or five before the bye week, and we crushed them. We beat them like 41 to 17. And that's who we're gonna be playing. I'll take it. I feel like we're gonna beat them again. We forced the three and out. Now we are driving, we got a third and two. Higgins is gonna pick it up. I wanna get a touchdown. We gotta play from ahead when playing Jacksonville. Otherwise, it's easy for them. They can start running with Fournette. That makes Bortles life easier. We're at the one. Gotta punch this in. First and goal, there it is. Nick Chubb's gonna get the touchdown. Miles Garrett just got a huge sack. Looks like they punted, and I believe it was a touchback. Another huge play, two huge plays. Mayfield is going off right now, in the snow. Down to the one again, just punching in. Nick Chubb time. There it is. Okay, this time it's Duke Johnson. Either way, we'll take it. We were up 21-0 at half. And we get the ball to start the third quarter. Looks like we got a third down. I'm gonna just start skipping through this. We we're just running the ball all over. And yeah, it looks like this is about to be over. They're gonna maybe make it interesting. Nah, that's GG. We're gonna win this thing 27 to 10. That's the game. We completely crushed Jacksonville. Now it's time to find out who we're gonna be playing. I wanna say it was the Rams and the Saints. And we're gonna be playing the Rams. I see it up at the top. I'm almost scared to look at their team. So Goff is a 92. Gurley's a 99. Oh my gosh, dude. Cook's 93, Cup's a 90. Woods is an 89. Does this team have a weakness? Okay, they got Waddle starting at left tackle. Gotta take advantage right there. 76 at center. Their O-line's kinda shaky. We need to get, again, I've said this every game, but we need to get pressure. Aaron Donald, he's a 99. Uh, Sue, 93, still on the team. Marcus Peters, 91. Uh, Roby Coleman, 87. Tlaib's 85. Dude, this team is just... Oh my, dude, this team is stacked. If at some point we're in this game, I'm gonna have to just jump in and take over. Okay, we're starting off. They got a big penalty. We'll take that. We're driving down the field. Mayfield just threw a touchdown to Sanders. We're already up 7-0. That was like a 4 or 5 play drive. Got him to a 3rd and 11. They're gonna be short, they gotta punt us the ball. Another penalty, this time on Sue. I mean, if this is how we're gonna beat them, that's fine by me, like we need all the help we can get. Uh, we're down first and goal, and, and Joku just got a touchdown. Mayfield just threw his second touchdown. My man's really trying to win Super Bowl MVP. The Rams are gonna be right back in this thing, though it looks like we did hold them to a field goal. Janikowski's their kicker. Man, Sanders is going off. Seems like every other play we get a penalty. Now Clowney just got a sack. This might be like the perfect storm. We are so close to winning the Super Bowl. They just, sure enough, another penalty on the Rams. Yo, I, if maybe we're paying off the refs, I may have slipped one of the refs like a couple grand. Uh, Johnny Hacker's gonna punt again, fine by me. Ooh, okay, Savian Howard making me look. Oh, Christian Kirksey, interception. Fourth and five, we are in field goal. What, we, why do we keep going for fakes? I don't understand. A field goal would have put us up 21. There it is, Miles Garrett. Let's go. Second and 17. Gurley's going backwards. This is a GG, boys. We're about to win the Super Bowl with the Cleveland Browns. Who is Boston Scott? I don't even know. And Mayfield just threw, is that his fourth touchdown? We went 28 to three over the Rams, which is crazy because I did a couple of uh, test runs. The Rams were unstoppable, to say the least. So there it is, boys. We just brought a Super Bowl to the Cleveland Browns. Mayfield, he's a 95 right now. Duke Johnson's up to an 87. Chubb's up to an 80. Landry, 93. Sanders back up to an 89. Higgins, 78. Uh, our left tackle that we drafted, 77. All right, Dotson, he went up. Zietler and Batonio holding it down. And Joku, that man. Yo, he can't be stopped. Look at this, man. Miles Garrett, 99. Clowney, 99. Denzel Ward's up to a 95. Peppers, 87. You know, when I started this, I said we were going to be like the Rams and, you know, make a bunch of aggressive moves, make a bunch of trades, make a bunch of signings. But I think the thing me and the Rams had in common was we got rid of our incompetent coach and hired one that was pretty good. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you want to see another rebuild, comment down below who we should do next. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Plenty more Madden 19 on the way. And until next time, I will see you later. Peace out.